Hi guys, in today's video we are fitting my brand new Recaros. I bought these Recaros uh, on the weekend. They are straight out of... I bought these Recaros. Got a stand, sit, sitting ovation over it. I bought these Recaros. I bought these Recaros from an ST, a broken ST170 and uh, I've looked on eBay and they're, they're probably about £135, £150 a seat, sort of 300 for a pair. However, I bought these off the guy breaking them for £60 a seat and I thought, for the quality of them, like they're not absolutely spotless. <laughs> Thank you. But I thought that was pretty good for the money. So today, I'm going to clean them up. So we're going to get them nice and clean. I haven't got leather cleaner, but I have got like interior cleaner. So that will do. So we're going to clean them up. I'm going to fit them, which hopefully should just be four bolts and the airbag sensor underneath. So it should be quite a simple video. But yeah, let's get into this. This is the interior cleaner I'm going to use. I don't know how good it is or bad it is. I just found it in the shed. But I'm just going to basically spray the, the seats with it. Wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. And hopefully the seat will come up pretty well. It's surprisingly wet. I thought it might be less wet, doesn't it? Right, and I just got to literally wipe it in. And it should get the worst of it out. And hopefully bring back some of the leather shine, is what I'm hoping. Oh, it smells very nice. Because the seats aren't perfect, but they don't really need to be perfect. I mean, especially for the price I got them. Yeah, it's also the perfect time if you're ever going to clean a seat to do it while it's out. Because it's the easiest time you're going to ever get to get to all the bits that you can't really get to when it's in the car. Well, it definitely makes them smell a lot nicer. Right, the next step in the process of installing these seats is removing these seats. So, from what I know, it's that bolt there, that bolt there, then if I move the seat forward, the same bolt somewhere at the back here, and then one over there. Should be reasonably easy, but let's get into it. For anyone wondering, you need a that. I don't know what that is exactly, but this is the exact one for that there. Something tells me this is not gonna be enough manpower to loosen it. That was a surprising turn of events. I thought it was going to be harder than that. I got it. Slightly more inconvenient this one. Hopefully the rooms are easier. All right, that's two down. So I don't know if you can see it, but that bolt there, which I believe is an eight mil, that is the airbag sensor, which plugs into the seat, which you need to undo that bolt, pull it off, and then you'll need to put that onto the new seat. So I'm going to do that next. But I probably won't be able to film it, so yeah, here we go. All done! It turns out that was a 7mm, so I used a 7mm. I also needed to be extended to reach all the way down there. But yeah, so you unwind it for ages and ages and ages, and suddenly it'll just pop off. So that's that unplugged, as you can see, into the floor there. That then plugs into the seat. Let's move the seat forward and undo the rear too. That is one of the rear bolts. Done. Ignore the state of the dirt and stuff, but yeah, that is that one. Done! Right, and that's the last one taken off. Anyone doing this, it took me about a minute to figure it out, but this little plastic thing here, it's got Velcro there. So it's like Velcroed in to like the side. Let me just get the camera on that. Come on, there you go. So it's like Velcroed in the side and you just sort of peel it off like that and then it just pulls out and then it shows you the last bolt. So hopefully now the whole seat's gonna come out. All right. Is that? There we go. Oh. Right. Perfect time to hoover the inside of the car. I've got to do that. Now 
write the perfect before and after. So, brand new Recaro bucket seat. Say so brand new, brand new to me, versus original ST seat. Well, what's funny, they're both ST seats, but yet these are the Lever Recaro optional extras, and that's just what they come with. So they don't even come with like any ST, anything special about them. They're just normal. Yeah, they're blue and blacked to be like sporty, but that's a proper Recaro seat. That's what you should be getting. Right, now rather than bore you of exactly how to take off the other passenger seats, it's going to be the exact same, two bolts, two bolts, seven mil underneath, I'm just going to do a quick time lapse. So let me just zap out the second chair. For anyone who wants to know, all you need is a ratchet, whatever this Torx sort of bit is, that bit there, hold on. Yeah, whatever this bit here is, whatever size that is, you need this. I don't know what it was. It was in the 45 mil. There was a 50 mil one, which didn't fit, then the 45 one did. So whatever that is, sort of Torx bit, 45, you need a seven mil to get rid of the uh, airbag sensors. Yeah, that's all you need, literally, one, two, three, potentially four tools is all you need to take off an entire seat of the Focus. Thank you guys for watching me install my brand new Recaro seats. I'll catch you in the next one.